Good morning, YouTubers, and welcome to an all-day vlog. Today is stress test day. Yes, it is. So I had to mingle in with the routine of the morning people in my house. I always get up after everybody, so today I had to, like, bump a couple people and uh, get to the shower and shave and do all my things because I got to get up first today. So that was kind of interesting, mingling with those people that I rarely see in the morning. Um, so I am heading down to Newmarket and I'm supposed to bring shorts and a t-shirt, sh uh, running shoes, uh, basically because they're going to be running for 15 minutes. They're also going to be sticking a IV into me. Last time I did an IV at the hospital, it must have been a new person. And uh, it took her six tries, six different places, and I almost passed out. And because uh, she kept one day sticking a needle into your vein to take blood out is easy. Sticking a needle into your arm and then having that plastic tube go up into your vein, it keeps bumping into um, valves and uh, it's she kept bumping valves <laughs> with this thing and uh, I'm like and everything started slowly getting I'll be back in a second and we're back uh, so she kept bumping into valves with that IV plastic thingy and uh, everything started going tunnel vision and I'm like I'm gonna pass out and I felt sick and so they put me on a gurney and then put warm cloths over me gave me juice and I was like oh my gosh and then the, the next lady came in she wrapped one of my hands up with uh, a towel and I guess that drew lots of blood to the area and then she she did it in like two seconds it was unbelievable so I think it was my left hand that they did it into so I'm gonna make them do my left hand again this time this because they, I don't want them to do it into my mid arm. I don't want to pass out. Today I'll be gassing up on Pioneer. It's my favorite gas station. It's usually a little bit more cheaper than most places around here. And uh, it's actually right by Wendy's. Wendy's. And uh, so it's a dollar twenty four point nine per liter. Some of you still don't know that I'm Canadian, so we do liters. And we're in the metric system, so that's what happened. And that happened when I was 11. So it was like Imperial until I was 11, and then somebody flipped the switch, and we had to drop inches and, and miles per hour and all that stuff and go metric. So it messed us up as kids. Math was a whole new thing. We are back on the road, and we are headed to the hospital, and uh, we are going to be late. It's supposed to be there at 7.30, it is 20 after 7. And there's a lot of cars in my way. I'm gonna have to turn on aggressive driving mode. Look out, people! I'm coming through. Well, I'm here at South Lake Hospital to do my stress test. You have to register and all that stuff and then you go up to the cardiologist area. See inside. So I pre or I registered to come into the hospital. Second floor. Oh, drops his paper. Oh, and I have to go over here. Cardiac diagnostics. Hmm. So this is the change room. I have to put on a gown. Very sexy in a gown. So I just did, uh, they did pictures of my heart. Um, I don't think I said what, I've, what they've done so far. So they did the, put the uh, intravenous into my arm, then they inject you with radioactive material, and then you sit for a while, and then they take a picture of your heart. And then from there I wait again, and then I do the running thing on the treadmill. And uh, so far everything's good. So I just did the running on the treadmill thing. They hooked me all up. And uh, when they're finished, you do your cool down. 
then they sit you on this bed and they take out the, the inner venous and all that stuff and uh, she's like oh put some pressure on it so I put pressure on it and they say go get dressed so I start to get dressed and as I'm getting dressed there's <laughs> blood all over the floor and I'm like what the hell and I look at my arm and it's, blood's coming out of uh, from behind the uh, the cloth and it's like on my shorts <laughs> So it was dripping like everywhere and uh, so it was quite exciting. I was kind of hoping something exciting would happen for you guys and to me and it definitely did. So I'm just sitting out in the courtyard. I have to wait here till quarter after 11 uh, but I'm having a second cup of coffee because they don't have a Tim Hortons here and a Mars bar just for fun because I'm in a hospital I can treat myself. Uh, just going through my emails while I'm waiting for my next procedure I guess you can call it uh, so yesterday's vlog I put out the question uh, could you go back a video and count up all the smooths versus crunchies for peanut butter and uh, Robert C thank you very much for getting back to me as fast as you did uh, he counted 21 and 18 and sand o can confirmed him and uh, so thank you very much and of course when I said that people were like oh I missed yesterday's vlog and went back and then of course they uh, offset it so basically at the end of at the end of the day it's basically 50 50 so that's why all these peanut butter companies put out crunchy and smooth and there's usually just as much on both shelves right beside each other because they obviously go just as fast so thanks for all the, the voting on that that was kind of fun uh, I, might, I might do that once in a while we'll do like votes on things and uh, uh, just get everybody involved and have fun and it'll be cool and of course I'll give somebody a shout out who you know counts up the days before his tally all right just time to drink the rest of my coffee this is the waiting room I was in it was full earlier on uh, but I was probably one of the last people that uh, came in and so I'm just waiting for my test results and I'll let you know in the car and, uh, and then we'll get on with our day I'm actually thinking about going to um, Little Caesars tonight or for lunch and doing the pretzel pizza thing. So I hope the results here are awesome. That will make me feel good about doing a pizza review. So there we go, ladies and gentlemen. That was my day in a stress test hospital whatever you want to call it. So she has to process all the, the pictures that they took. And uh, from there, they send that information to my cardiologist and my general practitioner. And uh, then they make their diagnosis from that. I just have to pay. I'll be right back. Well, that sucked. It cost me 17, count it, $17 to park here from 7.30 in the morning till almost 12. There you go, hospital. Take my money. <laughs> oh my goodness. And uh, it's not like it's a nice parking lot either. It's like a kind of a dumpy, crappy parking lot. And they're charging me seven. And uh, as far as I know, the money does not go towards the parking. I don't think so. So if you work in a hospital and you have administrator rights, let me know in the comments below where that $17 goes. Thanks. All right guys, so like I said, hospital time's over. Time to go get something to eat. We're gonna head over to Little Caesars Pizza, see if they've got the pizza or the pretzel pizza, and I'll do a review of that. Uh, one of the cool things about the fact that I did that Rochester thing is because I shot six videos in such a short period of time, I have all these shows I can edit and over time edit them and put them out. You know, I only do two a week, so right now I'm ahead by a week. So I've got, Friday, today's Wednesday, so I've already got Friday's video done and uploaded and it's sitting there on YouTube. Uh, and my Tuesday video, which is the McDonald's jalapeno burger uh, double, uh, that's done and uploaded. And no, sorry, it's not uploaded, but it's finished editing. I just gotta do all the little tiny tweaks and then put it up. Uh, and right now I'm gonna go shoot the Little Caesars 
pretzel pizza and that's gonna go up the following Tuesday and then sometime this week I gotta shoot the uh, smoked Gouda burger, chicken burger with Ben. Uh, ben wants to do that one with me. He's very, he's very curious as to what that tastes like. Although he works there, he hasn't ordered it yet. So uh, I love being ahead uh, by that much time. It's awesome. So I'll talk to you in a minute as soon as we get to Little Caesars. So as you can see, I just finished doing the Little Caesars pretzel review and that's gonna go up in like a week and a half. Uh, I've got a whole bunch of videos already lined up to go up, um, but I thought while I was coming through Bradford, this would be a perfect time to do it. I had time right now and I did it. So that means I had time to do it, so that's why I had time to do it and that's why I did it. So right now I'm at uh, Home Hardware and uh, one of the things I need to buy are filters for my furnace because we are out. I also want to get a weed eater, which I tell my wife. So I got my furnace filters. I'm pretty sure that we're 25, 16, or 16, 25, one. If we're not, then I'm gonna have to come back. But I kind of made a mental note about it. The problem is it was a mental note. So it wasn't really a good note. All right, so from here, I just texted Carol to see if she was available and I could have dropped her off a couple slices of pizza, but she must be working. Uh, oh, I'm not sure exactly what time her lunch is, but. Ooh, ooh, I just stalled it. What a tool. I guess it was still in gear. Silly. I'm here at No Frills, because I just did the calculation of <clears throat> how many likes I got for the food bank uh, awareness photograph. And I got like 770 something likes on my Instagram and like over 50 something likes on my Facebook. You put those two together, it equals about 16 bags of pasta. So I'm gonna get 16 bags of pasta for the food bank. And uh, I'm standing right under our speaker, and that's just driving me nuts. Um, so, uh, my wife took a picture, she was here I guess a couple days ago, and she took a picture, they have a sale, like a buck a bag, and they're big bags, they're not little tiny bags on sale, they're big bags of pasta, so let's do it. Well, I think I missed the sale, but I also remembered, and I realized, that I could probably give it another quick shout out to you guys because I said I'd buy up to 25 bags of noodles so at this point in time we only have enough likes to get 16 bags of noodles so once again if you guys want to help out go f go to my Instagram <laughs> let me get my phone out of my pocket so I don't crush it uh, go to my Instagram or and go to my Facebook find the picture the latest picture of me in front of the pasta shelf pointing at it saying that it's empty and how many likes we can get. If we can get, like I said, we just need I think 1100 likes and I can get 12, sorry, 25 bags of pasta. And so I'm gonna give you guys till Friday to try to come through with those likes. Again, this is all about raising awareness for the food bank. Uh, some people say, why don't you just give the food to the food bank? And I would, but I'm trying to <laughs> raise awareness for the food bank through me, through you guys, and it's awesome. 99% of you guys totally get it. There's one or 2% of you guys that don't get it. But anyway, so go to my Instagram, Give it a like, go to my Facebook, give it a like there, and between both of them we should be able to get the, I think it's 1100 or 1200 uh, likes that we need to buy 25 bags of pasta for the food bank by Friday. Go click it now. All right guys, we're back at home. I am exhausted. All the stuff that I did. I was gonna say things, but I, and then I wanted to say stuff, and I came out as stuff. Uh, I just wanted to say, uh, just in case, that was uh, that was a funny comment. Uh, I basically made him spit out his Dr. Pepper when I said the S word. I uh, had to pick up the dog poop at uh, 7.04 in the last video. Um, Sandra, she says she loves the cats. Kirby says crunchy or peanut butter. Uh, I can't go through everybody's name, but again, thanks everybody for their input on that information. 
And we're back. Finally found the comment I was looking for. Uh, Joshua Smith said, uh, Hey Ken, I have to agree with some of the other subscribers. I was glad to help with the Kickstarter just to see some awesome videos. No extra rewards needed. Just keep up the awesome work. Dude, you made my day. I even commented back on you on that one too. Uh, makes me understand a little bit more where some of you guys heads are at and uh, what I should and should not do uh, for the next one. I'm doing, I'm definitely probably going to do the Indiegogo and um, so we'll have to see how that goes. I think it would be awesome. Uh, just, I'm going to have to start it probably by the end of next week. Uh, what I really wanted to do this time is, is show people uh, ex like exact costs possibly before I even go. Um, so I'm trying to book my flight by the end of today. Uh, my agent phoned me yesterday and gave me a whole bunch of prices and it also depends on when I'm flying out uh, because I told you guys about the dates. I'm possibly going to fly out on the 16th and that way I can get there, drive to Santa Barbara, meet up with Joey the next day and not have to worry about getting there, landing, getting my car, going to meet Joey and uh, this is dark isn't it? Ooh. Um, so and then hang out with Joey for the rest of the day and then come back. Uh, Greg Benson is just north of LA so and he has some really good ideas. Uh, one of the things uh, another person has said um, oh, uh, Jadelyn, uh, you said, sorry, I don't, I'm sorry, I don't know if Jadelyn is uh, a guy or a girl's name. Sorry about that. I've, I've never known anybody to have that name in my whole life, so you, you must understand where I'm coming from. Uh, so they said, you know, if you're going there, it makes you go to an authentic Mexican restaurant, and I will. But I think the best person to do it with would be Joey because he is Mexican and uh, it would be awesome to possibly find a place in Santa Barbara because he's coming all the way down from like uh, San Francisco area. So he's coming a really long way to meet me in, in, in Santa Barbara and I thought I'd meet him a little bit up the coast anyway. So if anybody knows of an amazing Mexican restaurant in Santa Barbara, and a, that would be awesome. That's why I need that. If anybody knows anybody who works in the hotel industry, I gotta be able to reach out to somebody to try and get a deal. Um, I'm gonna have to maybe phone um, Tony who works at the Hampton in, in, in uh, Rochester and see if through that hotel, I know they're probably all in, owned individually, but if somebody in the hotel industry I'm salivating, but the, at this point in time, the airfare is going to be around five hundred and ninety dollars, I think, after taxes, um, and the car rental might be up and up to around five hundred and forty dollars. So now we're looking at at least eleven $1 hundred dollars there, and then I have to leave my car at the the um, airport. I say the hotel, the airport for a week, and that costs like a hundred dollars. Um, and then gas money driving all over the place in LA. Uh, plus again, all the food, plus again, the hotel. And I'm trying to keep this cost down as much as possible. If we raise stupid amounts of money, great. That's, and then, you know, then I can, you know, not stay in a shack type hotel or whatever. Uh, but again, guys, I'm trying to figure this all out. It's taking a lot of time. It's a big project. Uh, so I appreciate all your help and your support and your ideas. All right, so like the Mexican food idea, definitely a good one. But find out one for me in Santa Barbara. Thanks, bye. All right, guys, that's all I have for you today. It is three o'clock. I'm gonna try and always end my vlogs off at three o'clock. Um, I'll try to also tell you what I do between three and the time I go to bed uh, the beginning of the next day's video. I didn't talk about that today. Uh, oh, my monitor just shut off and I lost my light. Uh, but last night I just uh, worked a little bit, talked to, uh, actually I talked to uh, Nate Arata from uh, Freak Eating. We did a Skype call and, and chatted a bit about some of the logistics of this whole thing. And uh, so, and then I watched uh, a couple more episodes of Game of Thrones. So I've just passed the part where a guy gets his hand cut off. The dragon, Kingslayer. Yeah, that dude. All right, guys, have a great evening and we'll talk to you tomorrow. Thanks for hanging out with me on Hospital Day. See ya.